A lot going on this morning in our Studio 10 kitchen. We have Marty Duncan from the Food Network. I know everybody's so excited. And Pete from Panini Pete's also joining us. Everybody excited about that as well. Thank you both for being here. Hey, we're excited to be here. I'm excited to be here. Always great to be here. And to be here with Marty Duncan. Yeah. Food Network star fame. Oh, so yeah. cool. This is awesome. And we're going to be cooking something called Shrimp Isabella. Named That's right. after my daughter. It sounds really good. Now, Pete, this is one of your dishes. Yeah, it's a oh, go ahead. Yeah, one of Pete's dishes. Because, Marty, when we were talking earlier, you didn't bring any food with you. All you have in your car is a dish towel and a knife. Yeah, I just came in to, um, I just came into the area from Houston. I drove in, I was at a show in Houston. Uh -huh. Drove over to do some work down at Dauphin Island to get ready for our big uh, event that's coming up on October right. 13th. And so when they said, can you come do the cooking segment, I said, I could, but I have a knife and a dish towel. I'm not sure what I can make with that. So I called my buddy Pete, and we're involved in this event together. Mm -hmm. So I said, hey, how about we do this? And he said, yeah, let's do it. He said, I'd love to make this dish. It features Alabama Gulf Seafood, and it's named for my daughter. I said, sounds perfect. Perfect. And it looks so, so good. I mean, how, how hard is this to make, guys? Uh, it's really easy. Anybody could do that at home. Simple. I think the good thing is, yeah, it's pre prep and you'll see, you know, a lot of the components you can do ahead of time and have mm -hmm. them ready, and then you throw things together, kind of like we're doing here today. Yeah. Great little uh, appetizer hors d'oeuvre. And the reason I loved it when he told me about it is this is a perfect party dish. You know, I'm all yeah. about parties. Uh -huh. Party with the party. Uh -huh. So this is a perfect party dish because you can make it for a big crowd and you can make most of the components in, in advance, and all you have to do is a little assembly. It's great. Yeah, absolutely. So, what are the ingredients that we're going to need for this? Finger food. Great. We've got some little crusty over here and I did two different kinds. You could do some grilled bread if you if you want to get a nice charred toasty flavor and if you don't have a grill available these were oven roasted little just slice what kind of bread you like you know you can get a baguette you know mm -hmm. slice it put it on a baking sheet and just toast it up with maybe a little olive oil paint. Yeah, olive oil salt and pepper you can do a cracker if you want. Okay. The goat cheese spread is really nice some people the goat cheese can be a little tannic so I saute up some garlic and shallots in a lot of butter and mix that in with the goat cheese to soften Yummy. it up put some fresh herbs in there so that gives that, and we got that spread on there, and then arugula salad with some fresh vine ripe tomatoes, and then that Gulf shrimp with a little bit of rosemary rub on there. And it's a great, great combination. Wow, this sounds great. So, okay, speaking of food, so this is going to be called this event, Seafood Science and Celebrities. Again, it's going to be October 13th, That's Saturday, right. Dolphin Island Estuarium. So a lot of food happening there. What else can we expect? Yeah. Celebrities. Well, here's the Celebrity. thing. Celebrity. Last year, Alton Brown hosted the first annual. Annual seafood Science and Celebrity. Mm -hmm. Alton Brown was my mentor on Food Network Star. That's right. So they said to keep the tradition going, Marty, would you come and host the event for us this year? I said, yes, yeah. I would love to, but because I don't have a restaurant here, I thought, why don't I get some of my all-star, superstar, rock star <laughs> chef friends to come and cook it up with me? Uh -huh. So I asked Pete and Bob Baumhauer and uh, Mark Walden and the guys from The, hun um, the Hungry Owl yeah. and uh, The Complete Angler. All these guys are coming to help cook Alabama seafood their way Ooh. and a couple of other signature dishes. Mm -hmm. And then we've got Back 40 Beer coming to do the beer. We're going to do some sit pairings with that. Uh -huh. But I, I mean, being on Food Network Star, I guess, qualifies me technically as a celebrity, it's but I was, okay. I tell you, I was a little worried about the star power, so I pulled in some major star power. Okay. You know who's coming to do the music for me? Who's going to be doing that? Taylor Hicks. There you go. Taylor oh, Hicks. No more. I, 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 Taylor started tweeting for me mm -hmm. during Food Network Star. I didn't know him. I mean, of course, I knew of him, but I didn't know him. She's got a lot of ringers you in know, her the phone. the thing just... about it was, though, it was so genuinely lovely of him to do this, but it was just like the whole state of Alabama. They got behind me. Yeah. They showed me so much love. Well, Taylor did that, too. So, anyway, I wanted to just, I didn't think this party, we're calling it Made in Alabama. I didn't uh -huh. think it would be complete without Taylor. So, he wow. shuffled the schedule a little bit. He's flying in just to do this little intimate concert for us at Seafood Science and Celebrity. Wow. So, it's going to be food. It's going to be music. It's going to be fun. And it's going to be Marty Party style. Not Alton Brown style this year. <laughs> Marty Party style. So, we're going to have some rock and roll fun with some rock and roll chefs. We're going to have the most fun. Sounds like it's going to be a fantastic time, and we'll tell you more about it when we come back. We're also going to start putting everything together with the shrimp Isabella, so don't go away. It's a party in the Studio 10 kitchen set because Marty is here and Marty likes to party, right? That's right. That's right. All right. <laughs> Marty Duncan from the Food Network and, of course, Panini Pete, fantastic Ooh. local chef, been all around the world cooking recently, and we have you both here together in the kitchen, and we need to get started on what we're making today. Yeah, it's Panini Pete's Shrimp Isabella, Okay. named after his daughter, but to me, it's a perfect party bite. Yes. It's easy, it's fresh, it's delicious, and you can make it ahead. So this is perfect for your game day, 
way for it. I mean, it's a great little, little meal in itself. I like that with a bottle Absolutely. of crisp white wine, and you know, that's that's Ooh. kind of dinner for me. <laughs> that sounds good to me. So, Pete, what you Pour doing over there? Back forty beer. Come yeah, on. There you yeah, go. back forty beer would be perfect paired with that. We're working on the little salad that goes with it component. Mm -hmm. So, some diced tomatoes. We're going to do a little chopped arugula with that, and then I mix that with uh, a lemon vinaigrette that I make. That's really nice and bright, vibrant. It's got fresh squeezed lemon juice. It's got uh, champagne vinegar and a little olive oil. And while I work on this, getting a little Ms. heat there. Party with, Marty with the parties are going to work on these shrimp for yeah. me over here. We got a little rosemary rub on those. Yeah, I'm so going to put about half of those in there for okay. you. I don't want to cool that down too much. So no, only rosemary on, on there, or what else it's is on there? Right rosemary. Now? It's got Salt, sage. Pepper. It's got garlic. It's got lemon peel, cracked pepper. And what's the tip when cooking shrimp, Marty? What do you want? What do you want to look for? Yeah, you don't want to overcook it. Right. I mean, that's the key. The shrimp doesn't take very long. Just when they start to turn pink, they're done. Okay. I mean, pretty much. If you if you wait too much longer than that, then you've overcooked them. All right. So, so. be prepared before you make this dish, because this part of it is going to go fast for yeah. sure, right? That's what I I'll, when I do a shrimp dish like this, mm -hmm. I always get everything ready, and then I just do the shrimp even when the guests have arrived. First of all, it makes the house smell great, and it only right. takes a minute. And it definitely does start to smell good in here right now, right? Away. We are talking about this huge event that is happening Saturday, if you didn't hear us before, October 13th, Seafood Science and Celebrities. So, Marty, we mentioned the seafood. That's right. We mentioned the celebrity. Now we need to talk about the science. What's yeah. that element of this? <laughs> the science is going to be the oysters. Okay. Bill Walton, I'm a, you want to you wanna, yeah, you wanna you flip can, that while we talk? You, yeah, you I work flip, the show. But I don't know, I'm not sure I can flip and talk. <laughs> All right. So, Bill Walton, mm -hmm. a scientist from Auburn University, is doing magnificent Magnificent things with oysters. Okay. He's doing these oyster, cultivated oysters that are going to be a consistent size, a consistent taste, so that they can really stock all these restaurants and oyster bars and raw bars sure. with a fantastic quality product all the time. Mm -hmm. So Bill's going to be at the event talking about what he's doing with oyster cultivation right here down on the bayou. Sure. Bayou. And uh, <laughs> how you say it? bayou? I don't know. Right. Which one? Which one's right? All anyway, of them sound good to me. Anyway, he's going to talk about what they're doing and mm -hmm. how they're making a difference, and we're going to get to taste them all up and then sample some others and then make comparisons and he's going to tell us all about that so he's doing great work down here and we're excited to talk about it perfect so when we come back we're going to tell you how you can get tickets to this event there's only a limited number available so we want to tell you that information for sure and we're going to finish up this right here on studio 10 thanks guys Ooh, nice Whoa. Away. <laughs> <laughs> goes the party back in our studio 10 kitchen set telling you all about a fantastic event happening saturday on dolphin island Island. You don't want to miss it. Limited number of tickets available. But first, we need to get back to what we're doing here in the kitchen. What have we been working on, guys? Shrimp Isabella. Shrimp Isabella, named after Panini Pete's daughter. That's right. It's just a simple shrimp dish that mm -hmm. anybody can make with some um, herb goat cheese. Mm -hmm. Pete's loaded that up with uh, some sautéed onion and garlic and mm -hmm. some herbs. And then the, you put a nice little rub on the shrimp. Just take a couple of minutes to do that. Put it on a toasted piece of bread. And that, this is what you, this is what you end up with. look at that. It looks there. so fantastic. All right, I'm going to try a bite of this. But while I do, Marty, we still have a lot to talk about with this big event. Seafood Science and Celebrity, October 13th. Limited number of tickets available. That's right. Tell the folks how they can come on okay. out to enjoy it. So, y'all, the, here's the deal. There's only 250 <laughs> tickets available, and the reason is this is an intimate venue. The, the Estuary MC Lab out there, it's small. Mm -hmm. So we want it to be a special night with us, with great Alabama Seafood and Taylor Hicks. So only 250 tickets available. It's DolphinIslandTourism.com, mm -hmm. or the ACP Realty Office in Dolphin mm -hmm. Island has a small number of tickets you can walk in and buy. And $100 a piece, but it's food. It's Alabama seafood, baby, plus all of these great oysters, mm -hmm. back 40 beer, me, Pete, Bob Baumhauer, the guys from Auburn University are coming to cook, all these other great local chefs. Wenzel's doing the Wenzel's oysters. Wenzel's doing the oysters, that's right. And you're learning the science of oysters yeah. as well, and the exclusive intimate concert with, with Taylor, Taylor Hicks. And also, right. you were telling me about the ferry as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. So for our friends who are over um, in Fort Morgan or Gulf Shores, or if you're here for the oyster, I mean the shrimp fest, right. that's that same weekend. So we're going to run a special late night ferry, and it's going to be a party on the ferry, Marty party on the ferry. So what we're going to do is, for everybody who needs to go back, they mm -hmm. can jump on the ferry, uh, running a late ferry at 10 o'clock, mm -hmm. jump on the ferry, we'll take them back. But for those people who are on Dolphin Island who just want to ride over and back, we're going to do a starlight cruise with some music and oh. drinks and, and make it a now lot of fun. how do you get tickets for that? Then? That's if you're, that. if you're part of the, if you're a party of the event, you can just do it. It's on. Yeah, it's on. Peter, are you going to be singing at that thing? Yes. In case Pete. Taylor is not.
not available. You know, if he has a rough day, I'm prepared. There we go. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I told Taylor, yeah. I said, oh, I'll do this with you. <laughs> the, but the, the deal is I have to sing. And there he you said, go. you got it. Perfect. So Taylor and I will be singing something. I don't know what, but something. Something's going to come from this party. Seafood Science and Celebrity this Saturday. Don't miss it. Marty Duncan, Food Network star. Thank you so much for no, being here. I loved it. Panini Pete, Always one of our favorites pleasure. on Studio 10. Always a pleasure as well. The recipe for this is on the Studio 10 tab at Fox 10 TV. Dot com. Looks fantastic. Thank what you so much, guys. It? Yeah, I can't wait.